Ruby, look over here. Ruby, Ruby, turn around. Ruby wants to see you back of your head, you pretty girl. This is Ruby. Say hello. Hello, Ruby. Hello, Ruby. See? I know. You don't do any of those things the other cats on YouTube do. All she wants is love and attention. That's all she wants. And these special tracks. Of course, she's 12. So, um, she doesn't do any special tricks. The same thing with Belle, who was on my uh, <laughs> travel video and paranormal YouTube group. Um, um, video. Uh, she likes to be on. on the camera. If she knew the camera was there, we couldn't get her away from the camera because that's what she does. Come on. Come on. Yes, you're so needy. You're so needy. You're so needy. Animals are so wonderful. You know, they, they're known to um, increase people's health, increase their psychological happiness, their emotional happiness. And that's why they have those animals that come into nursing homes and hospitals and, and all of that. It's because they have such a wonderful um, <laughs> they have such a wonderful uh, impact on human beings. I don't know if you can even hear me through the ball of fur, but my cat who died, uh, in fact her mother Pippa, she died a couple of years ago, and I was on uh, kind of the treatment for Hep C about five years ago, six years ago, and Pippa would not leave me. She just stuck by me through thick and thin, and uh, she looked a lot like. Her daughter Ruby, her, Ruby looks a lot like her. Animals are just so wonderful, aren't they? Ruby thinks she's wonderful. She has no doubts. She doesn't question her right to exist. She doesn't question her worth. She just doesn't question anything. Except, when am I getting fed next? That's her question. <laughs> And when am I going to get my next kisses? And when am I going to get my next cats? And when are you going to clean my kitty litter box? You know, those kinds of important questions. Um, which I suppose are important questions for everybody. Other than the kitty litter box. Uh, she just loves being kissed. I don't know what it is about but she does. She and Belle have uh, the same father, but different mothers. Pippa wasn't uh, Belle's mother. And the reason why I had Belle as well as the two kittens is that, um, I mean, Pippa instead of the two kittens is that, um, Pippa, when she got pregnant, she was a show cat. She was a champion. And um, when she got pregnant, 
she got this respiratory problem and the vet said she could never get pregnant again so she was fixed and of course she wasn't going to go back to the show circuit so when I came to pick up my two kittens one her daughter and one her half sister oh my god she's turned on that um, I was asked would I take Pippa as well and god she was big she had this big paws and Ruby's got her mother's big paws I, I don't know if I can get the thing down for you to see yes dear but they're really big paws see that I don't, I don't know if you can see that show the big paw show the big paw now we can't really see them this way but she got big paws and she kind of splay foot and that's just the way her mom was splay footed big paw and just the most wonderful social cat I took Pippa on um, rides with me in the car and you should have seen when we sat at a red light People turn over and they expect a dog, and there's this cat looking at them. <laughs> and they thought that was pretty funny. Oh, look, it's a cat. But um, Belle and Ruby are not very socialized because I have a very big house. And when I first moved them into it, um, it was nothing but us three. It, it, well, us four. It was Pippa, Ruby, and Belle, and me. And I didn't know people. Um, in order to have a lot of visitors, so um, so they didn't get real socialized to other people. Although Pippa was, because she'd been to lots and lots of cat shows. Uh, but uh, when somebody comes to my house, still at 12 years old, these the two left, Belle and, and uh, Ruby. Uh, this is Ruby. Uh, run away. They just run away and they don't want to come out. So, this is as close as most people get to see you. Oh, you're so sweet. You're so sweet. I love you. And they're Maine Coons, so they're, you know, they're like 12 pounds a piece. Uh, I think, I think, uh, Belle is, uh, 13 pounds. But, Ruby is, uh, Ruby is, uh, 12, 12 pounds, which is kind of small for a main coon, really. Um, but, what are you going to do? Okay, I'm just doing this because I've got, uh, because Ruby came up and I wanted to get her on video since I'd gotten Belle on video. And if I'm confusing the names, it's just because my head's a uh, a blur, but this has been Belle. I mean, Ruby. Ruby D. Ruby D, they always call her at the vet's office because that's her full name, but we just call her Ruby. Huh. You wouldn't even recognize Ruby D. You recognize it. Ruby Booby, but not Ruby D. And Belle is, uh, Maybelle, but we call her belly button. I don't know, just just because I got used to calling her belly button. So, uh, what? What's happening? Are there deer outside? We get a lot of deer and coyotes. We've got a mountain lion. I'm in Pinery in uh, Parker, Colorado, just outside of Parker, south of Parker. Um, it takes about 45 minutes to get in the middle of Colorado Springs. It takes about a half hour to get in the middle of Denver. So, we're, we're kind of in the middle there. So, okay. Ruby, say goodbye to people. Look up there. Look up there. Ruby. That's a good girl. She looks wow. <laughs> okay. 
Yes. Okay. I can't see though to turn the thing off. And we're done.